Hello, hello, I am here to do a tutorial on how to download mods for Dragon Age Origins, how to get them working, and also how to use the Dragon Age toolset to mod your characters. So, first off, I'm going to show you how to download mods and get them working. So this is Skip Fight, and you can read the description here, but just go to download manually. And as you can see, it is a DA zip file, so it will be here. Now where you need to put it is in your documents. You need to go to Bioware, Dragon Age, Packages, Core, Override. As you can see I've got all my other mods I need in here. And what you need to do is just pop it in their file. As you can see all these are DA zips. So to get these DA zips working you need to go to where you stored your game. Now mine's on my D drive. So I need to go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and this is where all my games are. And you go to Dragon Age, and it's in bin ship. So here is the D Dragon Age updater. So it comes with the game. No matter where you get it. So now I sit, click select DA zips and find the one that I want to do. So skip fight, open, and as you can see here it says ready to install. So I click it, install selected, and now it's installed. So when I open my game, I can see in the downloaded content that skip fight is there and I can turn it on and off from in my game. Other mods have charge and morph files. So to get them all working together, so I can get them all working in my game, I need to go to my Charge and Morph compiler, um, get it going, click Dragon Age Origins, and as you can see it has noticed that there are all these files. I click Compile, Charge and Morph, and it's done them all. Now to the Dragon Age toolset. You have to own Origins to be able to download this and you need to enter your game key or something like that. Um, you can find it just by googling it, it's on the Dragon Age site. Um, to edit how your characters look, you have to go to File, New, and then Morph. You then need to choose your base. So HM is human male, HF is human feel, and it must correspond to the character you're playing. I'm playing a dwarf male, so I'm clicking DM. There you go. As you can see, he is pretty ugly, which is why I'm here editing him. So the first thing you want to do is look at all of these options over here. So these let you edit um, very carefully what you want to happen. So these are all mods, so these are all different skin colours that I have downloaded for the game. They have the original ones as well, the ones that you can use in the character creator are in here too, and then so are the ones that are not in the character creator that I've downloaded. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to skip ahead to once I've finished going through and making my character look how I want him to look. I'll be back in a minute. And here we go. I have made my character. So the hair looks all weird but that just seems to be with this hairstyle all the rest seem normal um, and it won't look like that in game so you know it's fine um, now what we need to do is we need to save it file save as and you need to put it in your overrides folder this won't work if you don't put it in your overrides folder which is here and I'm typing it and Ah. Um, underscore dm save okay now this is really important right click post to local and as you can see it says one requested one success so that was a success now what you do is you file open and you find your save so it's in documents bioware dragon age characters and then you click the character you're editing which is Farron 
saves and then you can use an auto save or a slot and then here we go and then you use the das file which is this one here click on it open okay and this looks pretty daunting as you can see what you do here is you go to save game play a car then play a car again then hmm, save game appearance and then morph name so all that all the way down here and then you go over here and you type in Farron the name of your character underscore and then the race and gender so I have a dwarf male so DM and I click enter or oh, well no and then I just leave it and file save okay and that should have worked so I'll see you in game so as you can see that worked I think I will go ahead and change his hair because for some reason it's causing the rest of his head to go white but I think he looks pretty good I think he looks okay I will definitely be playing with this character so yeah thank you very much for watching I hope I helped feel free to ask any questions you have down below and bye